Hello everyone, welcome back to DMARC TKIM with another video. In this video, we are going to configure DNS records for Hostinger for domain authentication. This way, your emails will not go to the spam folder. So let's start. On your Hostinger dashboard, go to the Emails tab. Here, your sign up email domain will be added by default. Click on Manage and now click Manage next to Domain Settings. Now scroll down and you have different records available here. MX records, SPF, DKIM and DMARC records. So you need to delete your previous records to add Hostinger records. For MX records, you will need to delete the previous ones. But for this video, I am not going to delete my previous records as this video is just for a demonstration. Go to your domain provider. Click on your domain. Now go to the DNS tab and here you can delete your previous records and then click add record. Now select type MX. In the name field, write at the rate. Now copy this MX value and paste it in the mail server field. You can select TTL as mentioned with the record or you can just leave it as auto and select the priority as mentioned with the record which is 5 and then save this record. Now we will add the second MX record. After MX records we have the SPF records. We will need to add this Hostinger SPF in the DNS dashboard. You can create a new SPF record by clicking add record then select type, then add the SPF value. The type is TXT and in the name field, we are going to add at the rate. Now copy the SPF value. Add it in the content field and save this record. But if your DNS dashboard has an existing SPF or a current SPF value, you need to merge your current SPF with the hosting your SPF. For merging, you can use dmarkdkim.com SPF merge tool. Link is in the description. Just add your domain name here, then add the Hostinger SPF and click merge. This tool gives you a combined value which contains both SPF values. Replace your current SPF record with this combined value or merged value, then save this record. Now we will add the DKIM record. You can have three DKIM CNAME records here in this tab. But if you want to add a custom DKIM record, scroll down in the left panel and go to custom DKIM. Here click on the verify option. And here you have the custom DKIM record. And in the DNS dashboard, select type TXT, add the record name. Then add the record value and save this record. After adding the record, check this box and click the verify button. Now your DKIM is verified. Let's move back to connect domain tab and let's move to the last record which is DMARC. So this DMARC value here is just a PNUN value which does not quarantine or reject the emails that are coming from unauthorized sources. So it is not blocking the spam emails. Moreover, it does not provide you any dashboard that shows you analytics about your DMARCs and without the insights, you cannot be assured that your email or your domain is secured. That is why we at dmarkdkim.com have built a tool which not only helps you implement a strict policy but it also gives you insights into your email performance. You can go to dmarkdkim.com or find the link in the description, add your domain name, click check and here it analyzes your domain then it suggests you an initial monitoring value. For the beginning it gives you a PNUN which is the monitoring value but according to the DMARC reports, it will guide you through setting up the strict policy which is P-reject. Add this record to your DNS dashboard. And now 
you can sign up here to have access to the reports dashboard where you will see your DMARC reports, your DMARC analytics and much more. Just add your business email here then you will see this dashboard in front of you. Click on this red badge. Now click check DNS records. And now your domain is verified and it will start receiving the DMARC reports after 24 hours. You can see the reports in the reports tab and in the analytics tab you have all the information you need to secure your domain. A huge benefit you get with this tool is that in the DNS history tab you have the list of all the DNS records you have added to your DNS provider. If you delete any record from your DNS provider, that record will still be available in the DNS history tab. This way you can recover anything from here easily. When you have added all the records, go back to Hostinger and click this refresh icon to update the DNS status. And all records here are verified except DKIM. This is because we did not add these DKIM keys, we added the custom DKIM record which got verified right away. If your DNS records do not get verified, immediately you need to wait for 24 to 48 hours. If the verification doesn't happen after 48 hours, it means there's a misconfiguration in your DNS setup. And if you are unable to find out where the issue is, you can hire a dmarkdkim.com expert to handle your domain authentication hassles for you. You can find the link in the description to schedule a meeting with one of our experts and we are happy to help you. If you have any queries, feel free to ask in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe this video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care and have a good day.